If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. Welcome to the Morning Swim Show for Friday, October 11th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Today in the Finis Monitor, I'll be joined by Curtis Ogren. He's the independent high school record holder in the 200 individual medley, a record he is no doubt going to chase next spring at his high school sectional meet. Joining me now in the Finis Monitor from Palo Alto, California, it's future Stanford Cardinal, Curtis Ogren. Curtis, good to see you. How are you today? Good. How are you, Jeff? I am doing excellent. Thank you. So you got the Stanford clothes on. It probably feels good to officially wear that now. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, excited to join the team next next fall and can't, can't wait to train with those guys. They're awesome. Well, you know, when I talk to high school seniors about making their college choices and, and uh, most of them say, you know, they, they want to get as far away from home as possible. They just want to start a, a new chapter but you are pretty much getting like as close to home as you could get. I mean, literally your high school is just right down from the street from Stanford. Is that right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So what was it about Stanford that convinced you to stay close to home? Um, I, I really narrowed it down to uh, three schools. I narrowed it down to USC, Cal and Stanford and um, Stanford was just the right fit for me. Um, the coaches are awesome. Ted's really down to earth. He's not doesn't get very emotional. Uh, Coach Scott is very methodical and uh, he likes to try new things. And the the team is awesome. There's lots lots of mutual respect, and I really like I really like all of that. So basically, what you told me, you knew you wanted to stay in California. Yes. Okay. Well, nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, you'll be a teammate of David Nolan's next year. Obviously, you know the name very well. He has the overall national high school record in the 200 IM, 141. Uh, I imagine that's going to be your goal for next season. Um, yeah, that's going to be a hard goal, but yeah. Well, you went 145-0 last spring. As I said, you set the independent high school record. So if you look at it this way, it's just a second drop per 50. I mean, that's not hard. Yeah, well, um, I just really need to focus on the details and my back half. I think I've been struggling on my um, last 50 of freestyle and um, keeping the lines off the walls, details like that, and uh, underwater dolphin kicks. Just, just the minor details I need to uh, tune up on. Of the four strokes, which would you say is your your best stroke, your favorite one to do? Uh, my strongest would be breaststroke. Okay. Also my favorite. So this season, I mean, you say you're working on details. Is there one stroke that is getting the most attention than, than the others? Uh, particularly freestyle. Well, it's, it's going to be, it, that is always the, the last 50 of any race is always the most important. So it, it is just yeah. definitely kind of important that you work on that freestyle in the IM. Um, tell me kind of what you are expecting to, what you're expecting, your goal, sorry, your goal for this high school season. I, I kind of joke that, you know, 141 is kind of the, the target, but realistically, what do you think you can do at the end of this season? Um... I'll just put it this way. I've got, I've got big goals, but um, I'm not going to tell you what my goals are. I just have big goals. Well, that's, that's uh, very, I understand that. Every swimmer has big goals, and um, we're just looking forward now to seeing what the, if you can meet those. I think anything, anything under 145 for a high school swimmer in the tour that I am is going to be fantastic. Um, mm -hmm. What else uh, will you be swimming in the high school season? Um, it, it would be nice to do the 200 IM and 100 breasts again, probably tapered. Okay. Um, t you train at PASA there in Palo Alto. Tell me what a typical IM training set is like for you there. 
a typical IM training set. We, we, okay, so to Tony's my coach, coach uh, Tony Betis, and we normally like to do um, race pace of IM transitions and of uh, short bursts of stroke. So the other day we were doing a typical set would be um, a 300 threshold free um, 450s of underwater kick and kick on the surface and then two 100s of stroke fast, maybe three or four rounds of that. That's pretty tough. Tell me, give me an idea of what you're holding on those hundreds. Um, I, I try to generally hold around under three minutes for the kicks. Uh, I don't necessarily remember my times for those, but um, for the 50s or hundreds of stroke, I try to be around my 400 IM pace. Okay. So I, I would imagine, does he say go 400 IM pace or is it all out and pretty much at that point 400 IM pace is about as fast as you can hold? 400 IM pace is pretty much all out and uh, <laughs> and we sometimes do freestyle at the end of that set and that would be 500 pace. He likes to do different variations of the same sets. Okay, well I, it's obviously working for you. Like I said, 145.0 is, is extremely fast. And I think, I, I think it's safe to say you had a pretty good summer season as well. You got uh, top three in the IMs at Junior Nationals. Um, give me an idea of what you, what you thought your summer was like for you. Um, well, I, I was really happy with my uh, IM times, particularly the 400. Uh, I was hoping to be around, that was my goal, hoping to be right around 417, 416. And Tony could, thought the same thing. And um, 200, the 200, I was a little disappointed with that. I think it could have been around 200. It was at the end of the meet. I, I think it was a little tired. Um, need to work on my breaststroke, long horse. Um, everything else was spot on. Okay. Well, I, I, obviously it was good enough to get you on the junior national team and good enough to get you on a plane over to Asia in November, that's got to be exciting to be able to swim in the World Cup meets. Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked for that. And um, that's my first international meet swimming for the youth team. And um, uh, I just can't explain it. I'm really excited for that. I was ranked ranked uh, 36 in the world in the 400 I am. Yeah, that's, it's got to be a good feeling to know that you're you know, top 50 in the world. I mean, very. Few, I mean, if you put it in perspective, a lot of kids your age, I mean, they're just happy to be 36 in the country, and you're 36 in the world in the 400 I am. Yeah, and that uh, really, if you take a step back, I, mean, I over the summer when I was on my break, I, I was really satisfied with my hard work and what came out of it, so... So you said this is going to be your first international meet. Is it also your first time out of the country? I, I've been to over 50 countries. 50 countries. Yeah. Okay, it's almost, I think it's probably almost safe to ask what countries you haven't been to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I haven't been to Japan and China yet. So. Okay, well, there you go. Now you get to cross Japan and China off your list. Yeah. Um, of, yeah. of all those countries, I mean, well, first of all, what, how do you, a kid 18 years old what what got you to travel to 50 countries over your lifetime I, I was a young traveler I my parents took me everywhere we went to countless countries in Europe and um, lots of islands and uh, my favorite my favorite is Italy and last summer we went to Mexico and it's always a lot of fun yeah, well, that's, I'm very impressed being able to go to 50 countries in your lifetime. That's it's really special and, and even more special now will be 52 in about a month. <laughs> All right, so Curtis, thanks so much for joining us. Before we go, though, we got to submit you to our final five. These are five questions we ask people to uh, got to get to know, know them a little bit better. Um, this first question is right up your alley as an IMer. If you could change the strokes in the individual medley, how would you change it? I would put breaststroke last. You want to have everybody 
We want to be able to catch people. I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. If what is a career that you would most like to try? I would be a professional professional golfer. Okay. What's a career you would not like to try? Plumbing. It, it really stinks. <laughs> and uh, if you could change or add any of the rules in the swimming rule book, what would it be? I would get rid of the dolphin kicks in the in the breaststroke pull down. Okay, breaststrokers are saying that a lot. And the last question, I think you've kind of answered this already. Where's your favorite place to go on vacation? Um, just to lay back and relax, Mexico. But my most favorite place is uh, Venice, Italy. All right. Well, I've, I'm look. I've never been to Venice, but I, I've heard it's wonderful. It's awesome. Yep. Well, Curtis, thanks so much for joining us today. Congratulations on all the success you've had. Congratulations on choosing Stanford. And uh, safe travels over to Asia next month. Thank you. Thanks a lot. All right, so that's our show for today. Be sure to be back here next week with more interviews on the Morning Swim Show, plus the debuts of two new Swimming World TV shows. And we look forward to seeing you then. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching. <laughs>